Hello and welcome to the next episode of A Challenge with Simplex Numerica. Today, we will concentrate on the famous fast Fourier transform, shortly called FFT. A fast FFT is an algorithm that samples a signal over a period of time and divides it into its frequency components. These components are single sinusoidal oscillations at distinct frequencies, each with their own amplitude and phase. An FFT algorithm computes the discrete Fourier transform DFT, of a sequence or its inverse. Fourier analysis converts a signal from its original domain to a representation in the frequency domain and vice versa. Fast Fourier transforms are widely used for many applications in engineering, science, and mathematics. The basic ideas were popularized in 1965, but some algorithms had been derived as early as 1805. In 1994, Gilbert Strang described the FFT as the most important numerical algorithm of our lifetime and it was included in Simplex Numerica years ago. Let's start with this evaluation and try to reproduce it from the ground up. But first, we will recalculate it without any effort. We are going to recalculate from the signal the frequency spectrum, also in decibel, then we make the Fourier analysis, and the Fourier synthesis vice versa. Then we are looking to the real and imaginary part. Finally the original signal with the humming window. The next question is how do we get this sample evaluation? In addition, we need a simple script for this presentation. This script should copy graphs from chart to chart, very simple indeed. Now, we will delete some harmonics from the sample signal in the first chart, the power trend master, because my purpose is to modify the master signal. Then we have to copy the modified master signal to the other charts. OK, I see. We could also use the algorithm ribbon bar and the icon digital signal processing with its pop-up menu generate a signal. That seems to be a little bit simpler to modify the graph. We can use the properties of the numerical algorithm to change some parameter of the to generate signal. Let's approximate, or call it fit the signal, like before in the sample graph. Then the signal will be much smoother as the marker connected with a straight line, called polyline or if closed then polygon. The approximation is internally stored in the curve arrays and not in the data arrays. Show and hide marker, polygons, and curves how do you like. The parameters in the properties define the number of bins used for dividing the window into equal strips, or bins. The FFT function automatically places some restrictions on the time series to be evaluated in order to generate a meaningful, accurate frequency response. Because the FFT function uses a base-2 logarithm by definition, 
It requires that the Ranger length of the time series to be evaluated contains a total number of data points precisely equal to a 2 to the n th power number, e.g., 512, 1024, 2048, etc. Therefore, with an FFT you can only evaluate a fixed length waveform containing 512 points, or 1024 points, or 2048 points, etc. For example, if your time series contains 1096 data points, you would only be able to evaluate 1024 of them at a time using an FFT since 1024 is the highest 2 to the n th power that is less than 1096. The newly generated data with exactly 1024 data points will now be smoothed by the approximation algorithm again. Our next goal is to copy the newly generated signal to all other master signals to the other charts. Each chart needs a signal that can be defined as the master graph for the following FFT algorithms. Like the spectrum, especially for this copy action, we will use our previously loaded script. Let's go over it and look to the code. It is just like the DOS copy command from source to destination with the parameters chart name and graph name. That's it, not more. OK, compile it and let it run. Have a short look at all other master signals. They are all the same. You can see that in the data sheets and by clicking on each individual graph in the other charts. Have a short look at all other master signals. They are all the same. You can see that in the data sheets and by clicking on each individual graph in the other charts. Happy man, we are so far. As you can remember, our main goal was, simply recalculate the newly generated master signal for all charts and their individual algorithms. Let it do now. Go to the ribbon bar algorithm and do a recalculation. Next and the last steps in our FFT presentation is playing a little bit around. First, we will make the Fourier analysis. Then we are going to copy that signal into the Fourier synthesis chart. This should be the master signal to regenerate from analysis back to synthesis.
Next, let us have a short look at the window functions. Again, use any of them as an example. That's it for today. 